Hi everybody, it's Sylvia. Are you surprised? I know, it's been a long time since the last time I posted a video and I wanted to come back to YouTube uh, first by sharing with you my craft room space, my new craft room space, and although I don't think I ever showed you my old room, so. Um, we purchased a home last year in September and I've been excited trying to get it up and running so that I can start making videos and let me just go ahead and get right to it. I'm not going to show you what's inside every drawer. Um, I might some here and there, but um, it would just take too long. Okay, I'll go ahead and just give you a quick view before I start so you can get an idea. And these are my closet doors and then out the door. And on this wall is where I store uh, Martha Stewart punches and I have them on these metal IKEA thingies and I'll post the name on the screen if you're interested um, and then at the bottom I have some of the ribbon on also um, IKEA baskets that can hang on these rails and that's a little heart that I got from Target which is so cute and this is the Expedit. I purchased a few of the doors and the drawers and also the baskets to go along with it. And I love this storage. I can store so much in here and it just looks like an organized mess. <laughs> um, up top here I have just random things that I like to look at. Pictures, little knickknacks. And on this wall, I have my house mouse collection because I think I collect them more than I stamp them. But I've been collecting them for years. And house mouse was one, actually, the very first stamp I purchased when I first started car making. And this is what it's grown to over the years. I, I love these stamps. I have them on also Ikea, these are the wooden Ikea ledges, I'm not, I'll put the name in the front of on the screen also if you're interested, but this is a side view. At the bottom I have the whippersnapper stamps that I also love, I, I love those stamps, the images are so cute. And on my clip it up I have most of my clear stamps. I have um, two of these thingies, one I have there and the other one on the uh, Maya Island, a desk. And I have the cling stamps and clear stamps. And then I also store um, some of the cling stamps in these binders as well. I have the smaller Expedit here where it's like my cutting station. <laughs> I have my cuddle bug, the big shot, and over here is my uh, Big Shot Pro machine. On here I keep in this little basket I have all the plates that um, go to all of the machines. I have some sizzlets, very old sizzlets. Uh, this is where I store my thin dies, uh, MFT dies, spellbinder dies, paper trank dies. I have them in these chipboard binders that I made with magnet and that seems to work for me for now eventually I will be changing that and here's my sewing machine I have my Xyron sticker machines and my cinch in this little no well, not little in this basket I have the Grand Nestability dies um, since these are really big it's easy to store them in this basket along with the Big Shot Pro dies that are also quite large. I don't have too many of those so that works fine. Um, here's the Crocodile and this is where I store my embossing folders in this clear container. I think I got this at Target. I have an L-shaped desk that we purchased from Ikea. I bought uh, we bought three of these Alex drawers and the tops I bought them in the dark 
brown color because I like that combination. Okay, and on this wall I have the embellishment units from Michaels. I store on here um, flowers, embossing powders, beads, uh, glitter, and my holiday stamps from House Mouse. On this one I have my Copic refills, buttons, more flowers, sequins, ribbon, and flowers. Okay, and here's another one of those Ikea shelves where I have Penny Black stamps, which is another favorite company of mine where uh, they have the really cute images as well. And these are just some of my favorite. I have some more in a different solution, storage solution. Uh, here is a shelf that I got from Ikea as well and it's also in that dark brown color. Um, it's perfect because it's not too bulky, it's really narrow and I can store quite a bit of things. It comes with shelves but I didn't need the shelf on this side and the shelf is right there. It fits these perfect in there although I can't um, fit any more up there, but I do have an empty shelf where I could still store things. I just don't know. I don't have anything to store there for now. Um, on here, as you'll see, I have my camera. I haven't tried this out yet. We'll see how that works out uh, for my videos. Okay, and here's where I store uh, memory box ties, and I'll show you on another video uh, the storage solution for that more dies, just random dies, um, and in these little binders I have Taylor Expression dies and little anchor dies. I have some of the Sizzix dies, little B dies, and my clear and simple stamps with their matching dies. That is one of my favorite lamps. It's a glass owl lamp, which I think it is so pretty and it just looks so perfect in here. And that other little owl is from a set of three that I purchased that along with the lamp from Kirkland's. And that I got at Ikea. Okay, then moving on to my desk. I have my Copics and on here, on these drawers I keep the uh, the gray shades, the N's, the W's, and the C's. In this little basket I just have all of the greeting farm stamps that I own, uh, the Lala Landcraft stamps, and just some other random stamps that I haven't uh, put away yet. Um, my American Craft mat, a Stampin' Up Glass mat, and the inks that I use most frequently, I just like to have them out. My ink, my stamp cleaner, my Gamsol, all my glues. And in these little baskets, I just have extra dies where I'm cutting um, a die, a particular die, and then I just make extras just to have on hand and I put them in these little plastic storage. So before I go ahead and cut something else, I come here and I take a peek to see what I have. And uh, I just toss all the extras in here. Here's another um, hot lamp. And my computer, uh, which is what I, I just sit here and create while I'm listening to YouTube videos or just watching them. And isn't this cute? This is my owl phone cover. Okay, and on this side I have the CD storage shelves from Ikea. And I keep all of my Sizzix dies. These are the extra large dies. My Tim Holtz, Stampin' Up. And I have them all facing with the label out so that I could just look through what I'm looking for. And on the floor, I have the, my Copic um, airbrush compressor. 
And my most favorite piece of furniture is this desk, my island, which we purchased from Costco. And what I like is the open shelves that it has all around. It gives me an opportunity to store things that I want to be able to see and use at the same time. This is how I started to store my stamps just recently in the clear envelopes with their matching dies and then just labeling them. And I'll show you what I use for that. Okay, so these are the pockets that I used sheet protectors. And what I did is I just cut the edge where the holes would be on this side. Okay, and here I have some of my paper tray ink. I, I most frequently use colors. I have more stock in the closet. I have more Sizzix dyes. I have the yellow and the green dyes in here. Um, which I don't have too many of those, so it, this works fine. And then around the corner, more storage. So, that is my room, guys. Oh, and I'll give you a quick glimpse of how I have, or where I store my 12 by 12 paper. But I have these, um, they're also for office use. My husband got them for me. <laughs> they are called Izzy's, or these shelves on the top here which fit my 12 by 12 paper stacks perfectly. And then we have drawers where I have, this is all of my Stampin' Up! paper. And then I just have odds and ends on the other side is another one. And this is where I keep the extra paper tray. I hope you've enjoyed my tour and eventually I will go through more of my drawers and show you what I have or how I store certain things. And I just want to thank all my subscribers who have remained subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate that. And I also want to thank my new subscribers. I will be making videos, I promise. I just need to get back into the hang of the recording and the editing process. Um, and hopefully this camera setup will work for me. But um, I will have a giveaway soon just to show you my appreciation and uh, hopefully um, you will enjoy my, my future videos. If you have any questions regarding any of the storage um, that I showed you or just you're wondering how I store a certain thing, just leave me a comment below and I will get back to you, either with a video or a response. Um, but thank you guys all for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the, my craft room tour.